Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. Let me get comfortable. So today I am filming my March favorites. This is kind of like my January, February, March favorites because I haven't filmed a video. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. So we're just gonna get into it. So up first, I'm gonna talk about skincare. So right on top, I have these Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. I love these. I bought these when I was going to St. Louis because I love having these on a plane with me. Um, and they're great. I don't always use them to take off makeup. Um, sometimes I do if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, but it's, that's not really what they're for. I usually use it in the morning or like in the middle of the day if I'm feeling a little gross, like after I work out or something, and it sort of takes off all the excess oils and any dirt and stuff like that, but it's just an extra cleansing step in skincare. So I really, I love these. I have loved them and I fell back in love with them. Um, to go with those, if I am taking my makeup off using coconut oil, then I will use the wipes. And coconut oil is the next thing. Um, this is a huge tub of coconut oil that my roommate Eden bought. It was $10. Um, we had a smaller jar of coconut oil that we were using, and now we've moved on to the big jug. Um, I wasn't really the, um typical coconut oil person. Um, I wasn't really sure of what it did or what it was used for. Um, I didn't really get it. And then last year I got a hair mask that had coconut oil in it and I noticed the biggest difference in my hair when I would use it. And so this year um, I was having a lot of problems with moisture in my skin and a lot of people suggested taking my makeup off with coconut oil, like rubbing it all over my face and then taking a makeup wipe and rubbing the coconut oil off. And also doing like a nightly um, moisture mask kind of thing overnight with coconut oil. So using coconut oil to moisturize the skin. Um, a lot of people don't do it because it does break them out. I haven't really noticed any extra breakouts because of this per se. Um, so that doesn't really concern me, but I have noticed a very big difference in my skin since I started using coconut oil on it. Um, my skin is softer. Um, it's looking more hydrated, um, which does coincide with the moisturizers I've been using, but I have been noticing the biggest difference and people have been commenting on how hydrated my skin is looking, which is amazing because that's never been something because my skin is so dry. Um, so yeah, coconut oil. I love it. Up next, the Shea Moisture Rose Peace Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Facial Moisturizer. I have talked about this in the past. I bought it when I was in Pittsburgh over the summer, and I've repurchased it a couple times. I love this stuff. It comes in a glass jar, so it feels super sleek. It feels like a luxurious brand, and I get it at Target for like $10, $12. Um, it's fantastic. I love what this does to my skin. I feel very moisturized when I use it. I feel very hydrated when I use it, and it's great. And this is empty and now I can throw it away because I put it in the video. Another moisturizer which I picked up is the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. I have been looking for a really good eye cream for a while and this is a little travel size. Um, Tarte was doing, I don't know if they still are, but in the checkout section of Sephora, they have these cute little travel kits and this one that I picked up had this in it. It had two, um, one for each eye, like under eye hydrating masks and the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara in a travel size and I was like oh well I've really been wanting to try an eye cream it was only $12 for this little package that I picked up um you got a lot this had 0.08 ounces in it 2.5 grams like that's a good chunk for an eye cream like this has lasted me a long time so um I love this stuff. I use it at night mostly. Sometimes I'll use it during the day, but with younger skin, you don't necessarily need to put an eye cream on before you do your makeup because it might actually make the makeup start slipping under your eyes and you will end up creasing and then you're wondering why you're creasing. It's because you're using an eye cream. But this eye cream is fantastic. It's been hydrating my under eyes, but also starting to firm them a little bit too, which I love. So I've really, really been enjoying a like eye specific cream because I've noticed a couple times that moisturizers, when I use them under my eyes heavily to really moisturize the area, it sort of clogs my pores in there and doesn't really do the best job. Getting an eye specific cream is really important. So I will probably be picking up the full size of this if I can still get my hands on it, I'm not sure if, I think this is a part of the Rainforest of the Sea collection, I'm not sure if they're still selling that, so 
Fingers crossed, I hope they are. Also in the Rainforest of the Sea collection, I picked up a travel size excuse me, of the Marine Boosting 4-in-1 Mist, and this stuff primes, is used as a setting spray, hydrating mist, and skin refresher, and I love this. My only thing that I don't like is the actual spray top, because it comes out very chunky and very concentrated, and then I try and put it over my whole face, and I feel like I'm drowning in it. So, um, I don't know if I'm just not spraying it the right way, or if it is actually the pump top. I would like to get the full size and see if the pump top is any different, just because this is a like smaller bottle or something like that um or at least try it out in the store and see what happens but um that's my only complaint about it is that I do not like the spray um guy on it um but everything else I love the scent I love how it feels I feel rejuvenated when I use it it's really really fantastic and I have been using it as all of those things I've used it as a primer like a primer spray I've used it as setting spray I've used it just on my regular skin so it's amazing. Another product that I've been using the same way is the Mari Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I picked this up back in January. This is one of my first purchases of the new year and this is my second one, I think. Yeah, this is my second one. I picked it up at the beginning of March, but I didn't start using it until about a week, two weeks ago, um, and it lasts a long time. Like, I, I had it last me two months before I really had to go get a new one, and this stuff is fantastic. On the back, it says... Um, Rejuvenating facial spray. Um, use it to set makeup, soothe your skin um, in dehydrating conditions, or give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. It really... I. I love this stuff like I sprayed it on my face the first day and I instantly felt like my soul had been touched it was very strange um, but I love this I love using it over top of my makeup there was one day where my makeup was completely breaking apart and I sprayed this and it acted like fix plus almost and completely brought my makeup back together um, so I love this I do recommend this if you're looking for a good facial spray to not only use with makeup but to use on your regular skin as well. I love using this at night before I go to sleep. I love using this just during the day if I'm not wearing makeup to give myself a little quick picker-upper. It's fantastic. And also by Mario Badescu, I have been using the Acne Facial Cleanser. This one is empty. This is my new one that I just picked up. My skin. You guys. I talk about my skin <laughs> all the time on this channel and how it's breaking out and I have acne and I have dry skin and da 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 and I've been looking for a really good acne treating cleanser because I feel like not all the ones I've been using have been consistent. This cleanser, holy cow. For the first couple, for the first like week, week and a half I wasn't really sure if it was going to work out and then after the month of January. I noticed the biggest change in my skin. I have not had any crazy cystic breakouts. I've really only had hormonal acne and I've had little spots here and there when I haven't been taking care of my skin or I've been eating really poorly. And this product, you guys, it says that it's for combination and oily skin types, but I don't feel like it's working against my skin because I have dry skin. It has cleared my acne so well. My skin is so soft and it's clear and it feels like it's cleaning my skin. It foams up just a little bit. It's a very gentle facial cleanser and it is so, so good. Um, Mari Badescu has travel sizes as well as full sizes. So this is the travel size of this facial spray. There's one that's like this big. It's huge. So yeah. Mari Badescu as a whole has been a favorite of mine, but these two products I've really been enjoying. Moving into makeup, the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. Um, I'm not sure if this made it into my yearly favorites or not, but I love this stuff. I think it's fantastic. It's like $4 at the drugstore, and it does a great job priming my skin. Um, I need to pick up a new one because I ran out, and yeah, I love this stuff. For foundation, there are two foundations that have been my ride or die for the past three months, and they have been the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. These two, holy crap. So, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, I love it. It's full coverage. It, um, 
lasts all day and it can become slightly dewy if used in the right way. Um, it is slightly mattifying for my skin at least. When I have super, super dry skin, I don't really like using this because it is um, slightly mattifying and I don't really like that because it makes my skin look super flaky and gross and ugly. But other than that, when I add a little bit of like a primer oil or a little bit of a highlighter into it, it looks great. And then I don't need to talk about this because I have talked about it in my yearly favorites video. I talked about it in a review video. Um, I love this foundation. And these two foundations together make my skin look like skin. It doesn't look like I have cakey foundation on. It doesn't look like I put a crazy crap ton of stuff on my face. It looks like my skin, which I love. I love foundations that do that. So these two are stealing my heart right now. Um, I talked about primer oils. I wasn't sure how to use this. I got this in my Ipsy bag a while ago and I had it in my pro kit because I was like, I'm sure I could use it on a client for something. And then a couple weeks ago, um, I tried out a foundation and someone was like, oh, well, if it's too dry on you, why don't you try mixing in the Smashbox primer oil? And I was like, oh, that's a really great idea. So um, I've been adding this onto my beauty blender when I've been using the Wet n Wild foundation and I love it. It adds a, just a little bit of hydration to my skin and helps to keep it a little bit on the more skin-like side. Not necessarily dewy, but definitely not matte, so... There's that. I have two uh, mascaras to talk about. So this is the NYX Doll Eye Mascara, and this has stolen my heart. I still love the Essence Mascara. I do need to go pick up a new one back in January, I think. Wow, was it really back in January or February? Um, I got some like weird pimply thing on my waterline of my upper lash line, and I just threw out all my mascaras. I was like, I'm not messing with this. I'm not playing this game and I threw them all out and I picked up the NYX Doll Eye Mascara and this happens to be the volume one. I know they have a lengthening and they have a um, volume that's waterproof. This is not waterproof and this is what the dude looks like. It's fantastic. I'm wearing it today and I love what it does to my lashes. It opens them up and makes them very wispy and long and it volumizes them. And I've had a couple people ask me if I'm wearing false lashes when I'm wearing it. And I'm like, no, I'm not. But thank you for asking because it makes me feel great when my lashes look like false lashes. Also because I wear false lashes all the time, some people just need to double check. But that still makes me feel good. Um, so yeah, the next doll eye mascara is number one in my book and this was ten dollars I want to say and then I talked about this a little earlier in the video but the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara I've only been using for a couple weeks but I do really really like it um, it's a little goopy when you first get it so you kind of have to let it dry up a little bit um, in my opinion but I used this a while ago like freshman year I think um, was when I used this last. I I used to have um, a travel size of this and I really really liked it so I'm glad that I repicked this up in that little kit that I was talking about that Tarte had so yeah this little guy. Sticking with the eyes this has been my favorite lash adhesive. This is the Eyelore um, lash glue and I got this with my Eyelore Vegas Nay lashes and I want to see if they sell a full size of this rather than just the little one that comes with their lashes because I love this stuff. I do enjoy this more than Duo and I really like what it does. I also like that it has a little applicator rather than me having to use my tweezers or something like that. Um, moving on to the lips. Um, I have definitely talked about this before, but the NYX lingerie. I love this. I need to go pick up so many more shades, but this guy is great. It stays on all day and it's a great color. This is ruffle trim and I'm obsessed. I don't really need to say anything else because I definitely talked about it before. Also with lips, which I haven't talked about in a while because I haven't been filming videos, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette Volume 1. I filmed a lip swatch video and then over on my Instagram I was doing the 13 days of lips and I tried a different shade 
um, every single day for, it was definitely more than 13 days because there were a couple days I forgot to take photos, but um, essentially for 13 days I tried a different lip color and it wasn't necessarily the one that was here because like right off the bat I don't like this color, I don't like this color, um, I don't like this color, so I would mix them and create my own lip color that I was really excited by. So yeah, you can go check out my Instagram. Um, there are lots and lots of lip shades that you can get out of this. There are more lip shades than I even tried in the 13 days, so I'm really excited to see what I can come up with. And this is super sanitary, so for makeup artists, this is perfect to have in your kit. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. It's compact. It's really sleek. I did make a mistake in the video that I filmed because I said that this numbering system is on the glass because I thought it was. It's not. It's actually a pull-out thing, which I don't like, so I need to figure out a way to adhere that to the glass, but it is pretty good at staying on its own, which is good, so, or the plastic, rather, but I love this. I can't say enough good things about it. It's, it's fantastic. So I'm sure that I'll be using this in an upcoming video soon, and I will talk about the wear of it. Um, I still haven't done a wear test, so I could do a wear test if you guys would be interested in seeing a wear test of one of these colors. Let me know. Okay, and my last favorite is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon Perfume. I can't remember when I got this. I think I got it as a Sephora free sample a couple months ago, and... Oh, it is fantastic. I want to make this my personal scent. Um, so I need to, I need to try and pick up the full size of this, but it's so nice. Like it's definitely a year round perfume. Like I wouldn't categorize this as a winter or a summer, like a spring or a fall. Like I would wear this year round. It's just, I can't, I'm very bad at explaining perfumes. You're going to have to go smell this yourself. But I, if you like more light and sort of like flirty perfumes, this one is definitely one that you should check out. Okay, I have two misses for the past couple months. The first is the Acure Pore Minimizing Facial Scrub. This, I tried to return this to Target and Target changed their return policy for cosmetics. I need to make sure that this is recording. This. <laughs> um, Target changed their um, return policy for cosmetics and if you opened and used something, you can't return it anymore. I don't know if that has changed since I tried to do this, but I was mad because this is disgusting. It works really well. <laughs> if you take aside the stuff that I don't like, it actually does clean the face very well. It's great at exfoliating the skin and making you feel good, but I just cannot get past the scent. This smells like garbage. It is disgusting. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I can't even explain to you what this smells like. It looks like orange clay with these like black dots in it and it feels very strange on the skin. You can't even hold your breath while you're doing it because you need to breathe while you're washing your face. There's just no way around it. So you're smelling this disgusting smell and I can't even return this. So I've been waiting to film this video so that I can throw this in the trash because it is trash. Um, if you like this smell, congratulations. You found yourself a great skincare thing, but this is disgusting and I do not like it. And my next miss is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm going to give this a second try, but I did not like this. When I used this, my skin was dry as the Sahara Desert. I looked like a scaly snake. And this foundation did not help me. This foundation made me look even worse. My skin was peeling and disgusting and it was horrible. I felt so gross being out in public and that everyone was looking at my scaly face and I was more I was mortified to be out in public. And a lot of people have come up to me saying that they really like this foundation. So now that my skin has kind of normalized, I know what I'm doing with the primer oil. I'm going to give this a second try and I'm probably going to do it on camera. Um, but for right now, this is a miss. I'm not a fan. Okay, and I missed one favorite, so I'm going to go back. My humidifier has been my saving grace. This is the Crane humidifier. It's this cute little blue teardrop, and I'm in love with him. My dad picked this up for me about a month ago, 
My room is extremely dry here at school. The heat turns on at all hours of the night without me even touching it because I'm sleeping and I wake up and my face is dry, my skin is dry, my nose is dry, I have a nosebleed because I'm dry, just dry, 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 dry air and it's horrible and it's the winter time so it's even worse and this humidifier has saved my life. I have it next to my bed, blowing in my face while I'm sleeping, and I love it. It's so powerful, it's so compact, like it's actually really nice, like a great size for a dorm room. So if you're looking for a humidifier, oh, she's leaking. If you're looking for a humidifier to pick up, I highly recommend the Crane Drop Humidifier. All right, guys, so that is everything I have for you today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos in the future. Like I said in my tutorial, which is live now, it went live um, a couple days ago, um, I think I'm going to start filming more uh, seasonal favorites rather than monthly just because I don't try enough things in a month to really make a full favorites or like hits and misses video. But over the past three months, I've had time to try a lot of different things and get good opinions on them. So let me know what you guys think if that's something that you would be interested in rather than every month me putting up a favorites video that doesn't really have a lot or have great opinions on everything so let me know also don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts my Instagram and my Twitter those will both be linked down below and everything that I talked about I will try and link in the description box below so you can go check it out if you were interested in anything I talked about that is everything I have for you guys today I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon bye